Let's add some artwork by adding custom paintings to Minecraft. Alright, we found ourselves back in Intelligent once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding custom paintings to Minecraft. Now, this is actually a fairly straightforward thing. However, it changed once again between versions. This is why I'm basically redoing it. There is one little trick that you have to do. Basically, once again, adding a tag. But no worries, we're just going to get through this. So in our tutorial mod package, right-click new package called painting. And then inside of there, we're going to make a new Java class called mod paintings. There we go. Now for this, we once again need two methods over here, public static void called register paintings. And this is going to once again, just say tutorial mod logger dot debug registering paintings for exactly our tutorial mod dot mod ID. And then we're immediately just going to pull this right here. I'm just going to say more paintings dot register paintings. Once again, yes, the actual method only prints this out, but it basically also initializes some static stuff over here. This is why we need it. Let me make another helper method. This is going to be private static, and this is going to return a painting variant over here. And this is going to be called register painting, taking in a string name parameter and a painting variant called painting variant. Now, this is going to return a registry. What's very important, do not choose Java RMI registry. We need to choose NetMicroViewTil. Very important. Make sure that your import is correct over here. Registry.register and then registry.painting variant and then a new identifier, tutorial mod.modid comma name, and then after the first closing parentheses, comma, and then passing in the painting variant parameter. And then we're just going to register the painting. So we're going to have public static final painting variant. The first one is called sunset this is equal to register paintings, sunset over here, and then a new painting variant where we just pass in the width and the height, ending with a semicolon. And that is it. Let's just duplicate this and also add plant and also add the Wanderer painting. So we have three different paintings. This is going to be planned and this is going to be Wanderer. Uh, this one is going to be 16 by 16 and this is 16 by 32. And there we have it. So this is pretty much all that we need to do. And we of course still need to add the painting textures as well as the tag, which is very important. So the textures just go into your assets tutorial mod textures folder, right click a new directory. And that's going to be called painting, a very important painting, not paintings. And then I'm just going to copy those over. The textures, including all of the code, is of course available to you in the description below. GitHub repository and individual just as well. And then the tag goes in the data folder, Minecraft tags. And then we need a new folder that is going to be called the painting underscore variant. And then instead of there, we need to make a new file called placeable. JSON. Also very important that everything here is written correctly. So double check this as well. And then we just have our three paintings here, our mod ID, and then the name of the paintings that were given right here. And now those should be added to the rotation. So the paintings, by the way, are done by Platinum G17. So be wary of that, that you actually, if you want to use them, then just make sure that you give proper credit over here. And that should be fine as well. Apart from that, that is pretty much all that we need to do. So let's go into the game and see if it works. All right, so I've already prepared a wall here and have the painting. This is the normal painting item. And let's just see. There we go. We have the first painting. And then let's just see if we can get the second one as well. Sometimes, of course, it takes a little while going through all of the paintings. But usually we should get it at some point. And then sometimes the actual block behind it breaks. It's, uh, you know, very strange how this sometimes works. But that's going to be okay. So let's just use the power of editing to see when it happens. There we go. We have it finally. And then the last one is going to be this size over here. So let's just see if we can get it. Let's actually, there we go. Now we have the last one as well. So all three paintings newly added and everything working as you would expect it to. Pretty freaking awesome. Right, and that concludes this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. So yeah.